There were almost 500 concentration camps in occupied Poland during the Second World War. Some of the bigger camps also had sub-camps, satellite camps. Auschwitz, for example, had 40. Stutthof had 105, with the furthest one being almost 200 kilometres away. Today, I walked out of Poznan to a place called Fort Seven, which was the first concentration camp set up by the Nazis in occupied Poland. It was created in one of the defensive forts that had been built by the Prussian authorities in the 19th century to protect themselves from the east. Most of the prisoners that were sent here were usually uh, intellectuals and they were usually murdered within a week of arrival. In 1939 the Nazis began experimenting with killing by gas chambers and they took 400 patients and staff from nearby uh, psychiatric hospitals and murdered them in the gas chambers. There would be up to two and a half thousand prisoners here at any one time. And they would be held in damp, dark, cold cells. Sometimes up to 300 prisoners would be held in a cell measuring just 20 by five meters. The women's cells were in the basement and uh, it would often get flooded. So the women would uh, have to sleep in cells that were knee deep in water. So these are the uh, minutes from the meeting in uh, September 1939 about the necessity of uh, establishing a concentration camp in Poznan and uh, about using Fort Seven. Got some of the uh, napkins made by some of the prisoners and these cellophane heart with plants cellophane duck some recipes and here's some of the personal belongings with clay soap a sewing sachet pencil secret messages that were smuggled out. It's hard to imagine in a cell this size that 300 prisoners would be held. Oh, Jesus. That scared me to death. Prisoners were forced to sleep on rotting straw and had no access to washing facilities. They were tortured and humiliated on a daily basis. Mass shootings and hangings were common. 80% of all the prisoners were killed by a typhus epidemic. Twice. These were the notices that the Nazis would uh, put up in the town centres, city centres, with all the new rules that uh, the Jews had to follow. Yeah, so none of the um, information in that last room was uh, in English. I could make out 
the odd word and uh, could just about work out that it was to do with the experiments um, that were uh, that they used to do on their prisoners and and also uh, how they'd uh, murder prisoners sometimes by gassing sometimes by lethal injection and there were pictures in there of the uh, psychiatric hospitals which uh, the patients at the psychiatric hospitals were sent here and gassed the remains of the cell of death in the Nazi prison. This is the original uh, lighting on the bricks that have been preserved. So this would have been one of the bunkers. The summer dress of a prisoner in the camp over here it tells us the uh, concentration camps where I'm guessing this is where they were sent. It's got Sachsenhausen, Dachau, Auschwitz, Maltesen and down here I think we've got the numbers of the prisoners and quite a lot of them haven't got numbers I'm not sure whether that means they were never given numbers because they were just sent straight to the gas chambers. So I think that's it for Fort Seven. It's uh, it's a small place. Obviously, it's uh, not on the uh, scale of uh, you know camps like Auschwitz or something like that. But it's very unique, and it does kind of make you uh, realise that you know not everyone was sent to these vast uh, camps that were built specifically with one purpose in mind. Lots of people ended up in places like this that weren't purpose built for killing or holding prisoners there was already an existing site that the Nazis adapted to hold prisoners and to experiment with gas chambers Right at the start of World War II, 1939, people were gassed here. Long before it became an actual policy of uh, killing mass amounts of people. And this is the stairway of death. And that's all it says about it. It doesn't give me any more information. You can take guides. Uh, but I mean, there's no one here at all. I've seen a couple of people, and today on a Tuesday it's free admission as well. It's normally six slotter, um, so I expected there to be a few here, but I pretty much had the whole place to myself. I didn't know about this uh, when I was planning my trip to Poznan. It's only because I put in. Uh, Poznan Holocaust into Google and this place came up. It doesn't really appear on uh, any tourist uh, guides or anything like that. Um, but yeah, this place uh, came up on Google and I couldn't believe it. It's like the first ever concentration camp in Poland is right here on the outskirts of Poznan. 
So I recommend you do it. Yeah, it's, uh, I've walked it, which is not a very pleasant walk to be honest. It's just one big long straight road. Um, but you can get a tram out here. It takes about half an hour on the tram. It took me about an hour to walk. Uh, I'd recommend it. It's, uh, it's an unusual part of history and one that I've only uh, just discovered myself.